Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm actually going to do a science experiment today. I bet you didn't know I was a science guy. Well, I am. Um, today I'm actually going to show you how to hook batteries into a series. I'm going to show you uh, 12 volt batteries, voltage equivalent, and then I'm going to hook a bunch of AA batteries up, which are like 1.3 volts or something like that, in a series to create 12 volts of output the same as a car battery or the battery that I have sitting here which is a deep cycle. Well, without further ado, let's get over there and start doing it. Alright guys, this is the 12 volt battery I'm going to be using. This is a 3.6 amp hour 12 volt deep cycle battery, lead acid, it's sealed. And then this here is my multimeter. I have it set on the 20 DC volt setting and right now I'm going to show you what this one here equals. So it's about 11.8 so it's a little bit undercharged I'd say but I haven't had a chance to charge this battery up since I don't have a smart charger here at home I actually have to order one and this is how much charge this battery came with on it. So I've just been kind of using this on and off. Well, now let's get to showing you how the AA batteries hook up in a series. And these are going to be our supplies for this entire demonstration, or experiment, or whatever you want to call it. We're going to need eight of these AA batteries. They're 1.5 volts, not 1.3, so it'll take exactly eight of them in series to create 12 volts of electricity. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be bridging and the, uh, how you do this to hook them up in a series is you take the positive of one terminal and bridge it to the negative of this terminal then the positive of this terminal negative positive negative positive negative positive and negative so you have one positive and one negative or one positive and one negative depending on how you do it and that should equal 12 volts that multiplies your um, your voltage now if you wanted to do the same thing in amperage the way you would do that is you'd take and bridge them across the top you'd if it's equivalent of adding amperage or amp draw because you'd be drawing well whatever these draw I don't really know what these draw for amps but whatever that is plus this battery plus this battery plus this battery and it also gives you amp hours if you're only drawing so much but effectively how we're gonna do this is we're gonna take a pair of scissors and we're gonna cut strips out of this and we're gonna take and tape the strips over the terminal and down the side to where I can take a paper clip bend it out straight and hook it in I'm gonna show you guys how to do the first one and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna see how the entire thing works together This is kind of how it's going to look. I'm going to change the design just a little bit, but we'll come back when they're all together. Alright guys, it's finished, finally. It took absolutely forever to do it like this. If you're ever going to do this, I'd recommend getting like a box or something that holds these in with springs, you know, something that's made for it. I don't know why you'd really ever do this unless you were doing like a RC car with rechargeable batteries or something like that. But, uh... There they are hooked together. What I did was I taped a piece of aluminum foil from one terminal to the other terminal from positive to negative, positive to negative, positive to negative, all of the way and I've got eight batteries. So it's 1.5 volts times eight should give us 12 exactly. Well actually it gives us 12.89 which that's, you know, it's got a little bit higher output voltage. They're not 100% perfect but they're close to 1.5. That's what they're rated at. That's the safe rating. We already know this is at 11.8. Well, now I'm going to make it dark. Now I'm actually going to show you what it looks like to spark the 12 volt makeshift AA battery together. Um, and you'll see what happens, and then you'll see it versus the 12 volt battery, and I'll explain why. I don't know if you can see that, but just as the terminals come together, there's a little bit of a spark. It's not too big. 
Now, here, this is from the 12 volt battery, and you'll know because it's the green and the yellow terminals, that and I didn't have time to switch anything around. And this is what this looks like sparked together. Big sparks. Now, I want to explain why this is and what this experiment has proved. Oops, sorry. Get the camera to focus here. Now, what this does do is when you get past the one amp mark, this quits uh, supplying any more amperage and the batteries get very, very, very hot. This one can supply a higher amount of amperage without the battery getting sufficiently hotter. So this is why they use this in like RC cars and stuff like that because when you bridge this many batteries together, you're increasing the voltage. But that's why you'll see Instead of eight, you'll see four batteries in a car because they're running a six, uh, six volt DC motor. And whether that be the stepper motor on the front and the motor on the back or both. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video um, and this experiment. And I'm hoping to do more science experiments in the future. But what this proves is, and just a disclaimer, you can do the same thing we did with this to a 12 volt battery, to any size battery, it works with any battery, just connect the positive and negative terminals from one battery to the other. And aluminum foil is not the best conductor, so we probably lost electricity somewhere, but uh, it's not that big of a deal. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy the video, give it a thumbs down. If you've got any suggestions for any science experiments or any games to play, anything else down below, leave them down below in the comments section. And if you guys want to see more, uh, go to my channel, hit that subscribe button, and until next time, everybody on YouTube, stay cool. Sega.